Now, Kelly, you actually saw this on Facebook, right? Yeah, I well, and it was um, inspired by a friend who kind of posted about, you know, when you cut the grilled cheese the wrong way and the toddler has a meltdown because, you know, that totally changes the way the sandwich tastes, <laughs> tastes. right? Right, for sure. So, and then I just kind of thought, all right, so, you know, there have been many, many, many situations where parents have shared stories like this. So I kind of Googled it and found many articles that shared some fantastic social media posts from parents. Can I share some? Yes. Number one, life is so tough when you can't pick the book you want because you're sitting on it. (laughs) Oh. (laughs) This little kid like crying, sitting on top of the book. Yeah. You can't figure out, why can't I pick this up? Right, exactly. (laughs) Or she wanted ravioli for dinner. I made ravioli for dinner. She didn't want ravioli for dinner. You know what? Taste change. (laughs) Exactly. Like, listen, that was 15 minutes ago. Uh. That's funny. Um, He wants to get on the bus. The bus on TV. Yeah, can't do that, buddy. (laughs) Right, yeah. Oh, gosh, you can just see the agony in this little girl's face. She just realized Darth Vader is the bad guy. Oh, no. And she's holding a Darth Vader, like, stuffed pillow doll. You can just say misunderstood. (laughs) Right. (laughs) He's just misunderstood. Uh, uh, Another reason. I didn't allow her to touch our dog's poop. (laughs) (laughs) A reason the toddler threw a temper tantrum. Oh, gosh. This one, oh, this is aggressive as well. I flushed my poop before he could see it. Oh, no. He just wanted to check it out, make sure you were all right, Mom. (laughs) Why are you not sharing? (laughs) Why are you not sharing? I got a text from Aubrey. My daughter got mad. Because I told her to put pants on. <laughs> At the same time, my oldest got mad because I asked her to poop on the potty instead of the dog's dish. <laughs> oh, 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 my gosh. <laughs> to be fair, sometimes they look the same. Oh, oh the poor dog. Uh, got another one from Mindy. My toddler had a complete meltdown. Lost her absolute brain because her banana broke in half. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing made the situation better until she had a new banana. <laughs> oh, my God. That banana's broken. That is broken. <laughs> Don't come at me with that banana. That is broken. Oh, my gosh. That is funny. This is so fantastic. Uh, got a, Miranda said, my toddler has regular ta- tantrums because I won't let her dig through the garbage can. <laughs> 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 oh, these are so, like, yes, of course, right. Oh, my gosh. So I got a text from Rhonda. Uh, My grandson threw a fit one time because he went a different direction to his dad's house. He said we were going the wrong way, that we had to turn right to go to his dad's. He cried and screamed all the way until we got there. Oh, no. (laughs) Yeah, it's not the right way, Grandma. (laughs) I got a message from Jacqueline. It said, well, my daughter was three. She had a meltdown because I gave our dog a carrot that apparently she wanted to give him. I didn't know. Nor did I announce I was giving him a carrot. She just saw him eating it and had a major meltdown. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, another text. My son had a complete meltdown because we had to wake up on Christmas morning to open the present Santa had brought. Listen. Is this the one child that didn't want to do that? This is the reason we play little kid drunk adult. A thousand percent. Toddlers are absolute wild they are feral and they they are feral that is a one perfect adjective for toddlers i think they're just feral yeah right you just never know what you're gonna get oh, any given moment that is too funny <laughs> if you've got uh one you'd like to text in a uh, reason a hilarious reason your toddler threw a temper tantrum 502-571-9970 uh we got one from uh amy she said, my toddler wanted two fries. My friend decided to take the original fry out of his hand and tore it in half. Gave it back. Meltdown. Mm. Just couldn't see the genius <laughs> compromise going on right there. <laughs> uh, Jackie said, uh, stepson threw a fit because he wanted spaghetti and sauce, and we were out of spaghetti, so I made it with macaroni. Yeah. It's completely Listen, different. It is. Different taste. They're completely different. different pasta products. Absolutely. Katie said, speaking of kids being feral, we have our kids nicknamed Chaos and Havoc. (laughs) Oh, Oh, there's so many. Um, We got another one. Oh, gosh. 
Katie said, I have twin nieces who are now eight. But when they were in the potty training stage, one of my nieces insisted on pooping like the dog's poop in the yard. So for about a month, the only way she'd poop was in the backyard with the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so I'm glad to report that she now poops like people do on the potty. That's that's great. That's great progress. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. Pam said uh, when uh, my daughter was three. Uh, she had a meltdown on the way home when we convinced her to release out the window the stink bug she had named Norman. <laughs> Cried the whole way home. And I understand you make friends. You listen, she found a new pet. That's right. I just don't understand why he can't live with us forever <laughs> and forever. All right, that's good stuff.